Here are five cool text effects for sports design. Number one, we have the outline text effect. Let's start off with just typing out our text. We're gonna make a mock game day graphic. And I'm just gonna size this to keep some margins and then center everything. Now I'm sure you've seen the outline text effect before. It's where the text goes behind the player. So I'm gonna move this behind our player cutout and then duplicate it and drag it in front of the player cutout holding option. You can click and drag any layer to duplicate it and then move it. And we're gonna make a stroke on this top layer. So we'll go down to our effects and go to stroke and let's set the stroke color to white, same color as our background text. And then I'm just gonna have the size set to one and make sure it's positioned inside as well. Normal blend mode, full opacity. And now we'll take the fill right here and drag it to the left down to zero. And that is the outline text effect. You can see the stroked letters are going over the cutout. The solid letters are behind everything. Next up, we have a big background stroke effect. Not sure what to call it, but we'll go with that. Let's turn off that original stroke layer and go back to our game day layer. This is when we have like a big stroke behind our solid text. So let's duplicate the layer again. I'm just gonna trash this layer so we don't get confused. And now with the text layer that's behind, let's add a stroke to this. Same thing, we'll just stick to our size one pixel stroke with the inside position. Again, bring that fill down to zero. And now we're gonna Command T to transform and just scale this up a bunch. And let's get the edges of the G and the Y still in the graphic. I like that, so you can tell it's that same word. And I'm gonna hold Command and select the text in front by clicking on that T. That's gonna put marching ants around this. And then I'm gonna align this stroke text with the bottom of our solid text by going up here with the move tool selected to the align bottom button. So that's our big stroke effect. Next up we have the circle text effect. So for this one, we're gonna make a new layer and draw a circle by holding shift with our circle tool selected. And I'm just gonna move it up slightly so we can see it. Now hit T for the type tool and you'll see this blue outline with your circle layer still selected. When you hover over it, you'll see the cursor changes and this is gonna allow us to type on the path. So now we can click right there and I'm just gonna type out Dallas Legion, that's the name of the team. And then I'll hit two spaces, we'll put a line there and then two more spaces and we'll type game day. And then we'll do the same thing we'll have this repeating. So I'm gonna copy and paste that maybe two times. So we'll have a total of three. And I'm just gonna drag the font size down. And okay, right there, we have all of the text in there. Let's hide this circle there. And it's not perfectly aligned just yet. So let's go ahead and increase the font size just by a decimal. Nope, not that. 20.2 and that looks pretty good. So let's move this to his head just for fun and command T we can size it down. So it's a perfect fit. Next up we have repeated text. So I'm gonna make a new layer and again type out our favorite word game day and I'm gonna type it out three times. You can do five or seven. I would say generally keep it in an odd number for whatever reason that is what works best. Uh, command T, I'm gonna size this up and just make it a little bigger. Now, I mean, you, you might just leave your repeated text as is, you might put it like in a corner or something or add more to it. But one thing you could do is stroke some of the text but highlight other parts. So like if we wanna stroke the top and bottom, let's say, and keep the middle solid, what I would do is duplicate this layer with Command J and then I'm gonna put a stroke on this top layer, going down to effect stroke, stick with our one, again, bring the fill all the way down. And so now to hide our solid layer, you can see this is just the stroke layer. Now we'll turn this back on and we'll delete on the solid layer, the game day that we don't want showing. So we just wanna highlight that middle one. 
That is your repeated text effect. And last but not least, let's look at a blurred text effect. So I'm just gonna grab this game day layer by holding option and clicking and dragging it up. So we have this as our starting point. And I'm gonna go up to filter, convert for smart filters. This is gonna allow us to edit it non-destructively and add filters to it. So it's no longer a text layer. You can see it's a smart object right now. Let's go back up to filter, go to blur, and let's try a radial blur first. I like radial blurs if you switch it to, I mean, you have spin or zoom, we can look at both. So let's say spin and we'll set the amount to 20 so we can really see it. Okay, that's maybe too much. Let's set it to five. Okay, that's kind of more subtle. Uh, you also might take the same text and duplicate it and remove the blur. So you kind of have this like blurred stroke going behind it. And if you do the other option, which is zoom under radial blur still, that kind of gives it this, this zoomed in effect where you can only see it on the edges. And as you get central, it is less of a blur. You might also go up to filter blur motion blur. You can get some cool vertical motion blur like this, or if you switch the angle here to horizontal, that is a cool effect as well. And again, you might combine this with just an unedited solid text layer on top, or maybe a stroked text layer on top of it and see how that looks. So lots of options to play with. Those are my five text effects that you can use in your sports designs.